Hey everybody, Kevin P. McAuliffe here, and here's a great quick tip for all of you Avid Media Composer users out there that was asked to me by one of the viewers of my tutorials, and he asked me a very simple question. How do you nest effects inside Avid's Media Composer? Because it's not as simple as it is inside of After Effects, or even Final Cut Pro for that matter. And you know, it's something that I always took for granted when I did my editing work, and you know what, he saw that in one of my tutorials. So I wanted to show you how simple it is to do. It just requires a couple of extra steps. So as you can see, I have a clip here in my bin, and I'm just gonna call it up here. And what I wanna do is I wanna make this clip black and white, and I wanna add a letterbox to it. So what I'm gonna do is just press T on the keyboard, and I'm gonna press B to edit this into my timeline. Now what I'm gonna do is come back to the beginning. I'm gonna press Command and 8 on the Mac, Control and 8 on Windows to call up my effects palette. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a very simple color effect to begin with to this clip. Now once I have the effect on there, I can simply press Shift and Y, which is my shortcut to go into effects mode, or if you don't have it mapped on your keyboard, you can simply come up here and click on the effects mode button. So what I'm gonna do is just go into effects mode again by pressing Shift and Y, which is my shortcut, and I'm just gonna take the saturation out of this shot altogether, just like that. Now what I'm gonna do is close the effects palette, and I wanna add the mask to it. Now most people might think that you would just simply take the mask and drag it and drop it onto the clip, except the only problem is that once I do, you'll see that the color effect disappears. So there must be another step in there that I'm missing. Well, there is. What I'm gonna do is just undo what I just did by pressing Command and Z on the Mac, Control and Z on Windows, and I'm now gonna hold the Option key on the Mac, the Alt key in Windows, and I'm gonna drag the mask down onto this clip. Once I do and let go, you'll see that nothing has apparently happened. Well, something has happened. You'll see that if I come down to the bottom and I step into the effect, I now still have the color effect there that I had just applied. And when I go back into effects mode by pressing Shift and Y on my keyboard, or again by clicking on the effects mode button right here, you'll see that I now have the two effects stacked on top of each other inside the effect editor, which I didn't have before. Now all I have to do is simply come in and adjust the height of my mask just like that, and you'll see in a matter of seconds, you can now have nested effects inside of Avid's Media Composer. Yes, I know it's an extra step, but you know what? This is the quickest way that you can get in and nest these effects to create the look that you want. So if you have any questions, comments, or tutorial requests, feel free to send them to me at kevinpmcauliffe at gmail.com. This has been Kevin P. McAuliffe. Thanks a lot for watching.